In this video, I will be showing you guys how to fix the R6 broken rig in Blender to do your animations and import them into Roblox Studio. First, you want to import an R6 rig and set the position to 0, 0, 0. And then you want to bring it up to the surface of the base plates. This will ensure that the rig is on top of the base plate. Next, you want to make sure that you click on the dummy icon in the explore tab and delete all of the character meshes outside of this mesh R6 dummy. The next step is to go to the manage plugins tab in the plugins section of Roblox Studio and make sure that all of your plugins are updated to the most recent versions. Click on the blender rig export slash import plugin and select your R6 dummy. You will notice a error on the top left of your screen. This is just telling you to delete the face decal on the head. You'll need to just simply deselect the plugin, delete the face decal from the head section of your explorer tab and reselect the plugin and dummy. Next, you just want to select the export rig button and export the rig to your files. Go to the Blender website and you will be first introduced with a button that says download blender click the button and then press previous versions that will be probably shown on the top of your screen once you have selected that under all previous versions on the right side of your screen it will say every release is available for download your old files are safe click the download word that is underlined this is now going to take you to a page full of older downloads and older versions of Blender. You want to scroll down until you see Blender 2.91. Click on that. This is where things get a little bit tricky. You want to make sure that you're downloading the right file. Please ensure that your link that you are about to click says Blender and zip at the end with the version. So it will look something like Blender 2.91 and then dot zip. There are also two versions of this specific version of Blender. There is a Blender 2.91 version that was made in November 2020 and there is an updated 2.91 Blender version that was made in January 2021. You want to click the one made in November of 2020. Once you have clicked that link and the file is downloaded, if you are using WinRAR, then please follow these exact steps. Make sure to close out of WinRAR and everything else. Go to your blank desktop, select an open space, right click and press new and then new folder. You can name this folder whatever you want. This is where your file will be extracted into. Once you have made that folder in your desktop, you want to go back to the WinRAR section and right click on the folder inside then you want to press extract all and then select the folder that you have just created on your desktop once it is done extracting you just want to click the blender application inside of that folder and blender will load up once Blender is loaded up, make sure that you go to edit on the top left and select preferences. Click on the add-on section and press install in the top right. Then you want to close out of Blender temporarily and go to the link in the description for this add-on plugin file. Once you are redirected to this, you just want to right click on an open space and press save as. Once you have pressed save as, you want to make sure that you are saving this as an all files save. You can name this whatever you want as long as you put .py at the end. Now you can go back to Blender, go to edit, preferences, add on, click install, and find that file that you had just saved. After this, you will be redirected to something that looks like this. You want to make sure that the checkbox is checked off, and once that is done, you can click out of the Blender Preferences tab. After that, you want to go to File, then Import and Roblox Animations, or RBLX Animations. After that, you want to import the R6 dummy that you had just exported in Roblox Studio. Once that is done, just click on the Animation tab on the top, 
go to the arrow on the right and click rebuild rig once you have selected rebuild rig you just want to make sure that you are in pose mode and you can start editing your rig and posing your rig freely using blender i hope this tutorial has helped everyone that has been having trouble with animating r6 rigs inside of blender if you have liked the video then please leave a like subscribe to the channel to see more content and i will see you guys all in the next video